All right, guys, today we're back in Mill Hill. We're going to do one of the routes uh, down here. I'm going to show you how to do this one. It's going to have some dual carriageway in there um, and other things as well, independent driving. So stay tuned for that. So right now it's nice and quiet because there's no one here. But um, on a normal day, this might be quite busy. So wait for it to be clear. And if you're here, you're gonna always gonna be going left because over there's a dead end. So mirror signal, and then I check, and then I signal left. I'm gonna get my biting point, and then I'm gonna look around as well fully, all over. And once I know it's safe, and break down, I'm moving off nice and slowly. So this car park, remember, is quite uh, it's quite tight and it's quite busy sometimes. So here I'm just keeping an eye on any cars coming through there so I'm even looking through this gap here for any cars but so far it looks good and I'm gonna keep to the left I'm just keeping in I'm barely touching the gas I'm just keeping the speed nice and slow here doing about just over five miles an hour I don't need to go any faster than this because it's, uh, it's quite a tight area there's a mirror they're telling us shows can show us which are uh, any cars coming through there I'm just going to pause for a second. I don't see any cars coming through. Then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to turn left at the end. So mirror, mirror signal. And I want to keep to the left side as I approach this. Checking for any cars. When you're turning right here, it can be really difficult sometimes. I think I'll show you how to do that one day. When it's busy, it can be very difficult. But right now, going left should be a bit easier. But I'm not going to rush this even, I'm just going to keep waiting until it's clear. And that van poking out a bit is blocking my view slightly, so I'm just going to check the left again before I move out and then check the right one more time. It's looking good. And carry on. And at the roundabout, we're going to be turning left. So centre mirror, left mirror, signal left. I'm checking the right from early, just like there's no one there, and I can keep moving. So remember, these roundabouts that are you can see from far away, don't wait until you get there to start checking or don't stop and then check. Check from early and then if it's clear you can keep moving like that and that way you get the car progressing. So I'm going to increase my speed now to about 30 miles an hour, get into third gear. A zebra crossing coming up, so I'm checking my mirrors and then checking both sides of the crossing, it looks good. Once I go past it, looking further ahead, I can see that it's nice and clear that I can carry on adding a bit more gas. So you might see those signs on the floor telling you slow. So people get confused by that. They, they think you have to slow right down. Those signs, what they mean really is be careful. Uh, that something's coming up that you might need to take, pay more attention to or just slow down a bit when you see something coming up. But you don't need to like press your brakes when you see that sign and go really slowly. So right now I'm just doing under 30 miles an hour, but I'm aware that something might be coming up. So it might be a bend here. That's why they're telling you uh, slow, or it might be a crossing, or it might be something else. So just have that in your mind. You don't have to slow right down or stop or brake really harshly. Just uh, be aware that something's coming up. So there's a van in the way here. I'm just gonna check my right mirror to go around him. So remember, change your direction. You wanna check your mirrors first. I'm just checking my right mirror. Then I'm checking my left to go back. We're gonna turn right this roundabout. So center, right, signal right. Nothing on the crossing. I'm going back into gear two. So I don't wanna take this in gear three. And then at the next roundabout, we're going straight. So I'm just gonna cancel my signal. And see there's two lanes here. I'm just gonna keep a bit to the side. And there's a car that was turning there. So this car on the left has to wait for us. I'm just gonna have a quick look up there and then go around the roundabout properly. Okay, I'm gonna pull over on the left in a safe place. So center mirror, left mirror, and I can signal, I can see a space behind that little gray car over there. I'm gonna get into gear one just so I can park in here properly. So when you're doing like slow moves, you wanna use the lower gear like gear one. Then I'm gonna go into neutral and relax for a second. It's quite sunny. So when, remember when it's sunny like this, you can use a sun visor. I'm not gonna use it too much today because I don't want you don't know how to block the camera but I'm just gonna you when you when you're driving you can use it and then you can adjust it to this side or here or even take out if the sun is on this side and push it over to there so don't be afraid to use uh, the sun visor if you need to or even sunglasses 
um, which I might do actually. So, keep that out of the way. so yeah, make sure you got your. If you have sunglasses, you can wear those too. Okay, so here we're gonna start independent driving. I'm gonna start following signs for the A41. So when you're ready, the examiner will say to you, drive on when you're ready. And then we're gonna start checking over from the left side, doing a full sweep, finishing over to the, over the right shoulder, my signal on. Checking my right shoulder one more time and then I'm coming out smoothly. There's a car coming out of that side as well, but he's out of the way by the time I get here. Then I can increase my speed. So on this section, you might actually get a sat nav and then you can you will start following the sat nav. But for now, we'll just follow signs for A41. No, sorry, follow signs. We're gonna follow signs for A1 actually, A1. A41 is a different route that we'll do another time. Today we'll follow signs for A1. So as I get to the lights here, there's, you can see there's floor markings saying A1 to the left, in the left lane. So I'm just gonna signal left and position myself in this lane. both mirrors as I move off. I'm already in gear 2 before I get into the corner. You can leave it in gear 1 if you're not comfortable with gearing up as you make the turn but I was comfortable enough to do that. So now this is a 50 mile an hour road I can start increasing my speed quite a lot here. So I'm already doing 40. I can see there's a lane on my right here which I've checked my mirrors to make sure there's no one next to me and you see the lanes are coming together now so I'm just checking again to make sure there's no one on my side there. And from the signs, uh, it looked like the, this lane is going to become its own lane, or this road is doesn't. We don't have to change and make our way to the other lanes. We've got our own lane here, so we don't have to work too hard. So here, sat now we'll say so at the next traffic lights, turn right. So we know we're going to need to turn right, so if you're turning right, you need to be in the right lane. So I'm going to check my mirrors and then signal right, and I'm going to go into the left lane first. Keep my signal on because I know I want to go to the right. I'm checking my right mirror again, and then I can go into the right lane. So don't do it in one big move. Do it in stages so that uh, you can do it safely. So I can see the lights coming up, so I'm going to check my mirrors again. I'm going to signal right, just let everyone know that I'm turning right at these lights. I'm already braking as I approach this, so I don't want to approach this too fast. Remember I was doing like 50 miles an hour a second ago, so I don't want to approach here 50 miles an hour and start slowing down as I get here. And then from gear 4, I can go straight to gear 1. <clears throat> okay, so the light is changing quite quickly. So always be prepared for that. Don't follow the cars that are going through in front of you just use your own eyes and if it's going into red make sure you stop so remember you can go into neutral and put your handbrake on if you're going to be there for a while but if you're not comfortable with doing this i wouldn't recommend this uh, if you're not comfortable with getting into gear quickly and then moving off just leave it in gear one the whole time and then when it goes to orange you can start preparing the car and then move off because what i find is with a lot of learners that i don't find is easy if they leave it in neutral and put the handbrake on. Once they try to move again, it's gonna be a lot of faffing about to get into gear one, and then they take too long and then end up stalling. So it's not necessary that you have to go into neutral. You can leave it in gear one. As long as the car's secured, you can leave it in gear one. And then now you can be ready by having your foot just by the biting point. Now it's all about waiting for the lights to change. And don't get too relaxed here as well. You want to stay focused on the lights to make sure that they don't uh, change green without you noticing them. So like now they're going green, but there's a car on that side. So I'm just going to give him a bit of time to get out of the way. And then I can carry on. So you want to be paying attention to what's happening around you. So that there, uh, there was a car in front. 
I don't want to just drive into them because obviously they're making their turn already. So you just see what's happening beforehand, then you can have, have a plan to do it safely. Here the road looks like it's getting a bit narrow, so I'm just reducing my speed, braking a bit, and then I can carry on. So remember to notice when, lane, when the road's getting a bit narrow and reduce your speed a bit because you don't want to go in there at the same speed as uh, nothing's happening. If the road is narrower and cars are coming through, it's going to be harder for you to do what you need to do. So you want to make sure you slow down either by coming off the gas or coming off the gas and then braking a bit as well. Here the sat nav will say to turn uh, next right at the traffic lights. So I'm just going to check my mirrors, center mirror, right mirror, signal right. And I'm going to get into gear two to make this turn. And this white car is going, is turning in front of me, but there's a black car behind him. So I'm just going to go into gear one. Once they've gone, I can see another car coming from behind him as well. So I'm just going to wait for them too. And then checking over there, there's no one coming that's close, and then checking my mirror on this side as well to make sure there's no one cutting in front and it looked like everything was good there okay we've got a road closed sign here i'm hoping it's not this road because we need to go straight on i think it's the road on the right Checking my right mirror here to go around this lorry. Remember, anytime you're moving, uh, change direction. You want to check that mirror. If you're going to the left, check the mirror. The left mirror first. If you're going to the right, check the right mirror first. We've got a crossing here. We've got a lady walking up towards, or a guy walking up towards the crossing. I'm just going to reduce my speed in case he decides to cross, but he doesn't, so I can carry on now. So if you're not sure whether someone's crossing or not, just reduce your speed loads. Because if that guy was uh, to cross the road right in front of me. I want to make sure that I can stop smoothly without having to like slam on my brake. And notice the speed limit has changed, changed quite a while back while I was saying something else. So it's 20 miles an hour now. So you want to keep an eye on that all the time on the speed limits on the road as well. Just going there. Sometimes there'll be a reminder as well to let you know what speed your the road is. So there, just flashed 20 miles an hour. Maybe someone behind us was going a bit over 20. Um, then it would just remind you. Uh, here we're going to go straight at the lights, and the speed limit chance, the speed limit has changed now. <clears throat> so here the, we've got different lanes. We've got a lane for turning right only, but we want to go straight. So I'm going to use this lane. And that's left and this is right and then this lane is for straight but you won't see that until you get really close to over here so just pay attention to floor markings but then as we go through I want to make sure there's no one on this lane going straight across so I'm just checking my right mirror remember it's 30 miles an hour but I'm not in a rush to go really quickly I'm doing like 25 now because you can see there's a van coming through this bit where it's getting quite quite narrow and there's a bus coming through as well which is going to make it even narrower so i'm just going to actually just pull up to the side just a tiny bit just give them some space getting into gear one check my right mirror then i'll keep moving there's a car coming down the road but uh, there's enough space for both of us now we to take the next turn on the right so mirror mirror signal right my right mirror checking into the road that I'm turning into as well and then going around this car okay we're gonna turn left at the end of the road so mirror left mirror signal left I can't see anything here on the side of the road so I'm just going to go into gear one because I can't really see what's coming from there or here because of that hedge and once I get to here I'm just going to creep out slowly because I still can't see beyond those blue cars there and it's looking good checking that side as well it's looking fine 
Then here the examiner will probably ask you to pull up somewhere on the right. So I'm just going to check my centre mirror, check my right mirror, signal right. Like there's a car coming down, but it's quite far away. Give me plenty of time to uh, stop, so I can stop here and then secure the car. So here you might get you will get asked to uh, reverse back two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to the pavement. So I'm just gonna clutch down, get into reverse, get my biting point because it's, it's a bit of a slope here. I don't wanna let the car roll back. If I've got no biting point when I release handbrake, the car see the car starts rolling forward. I don't want that. So I'm just gonna get my biting point first of all. So in, in you notice you've got a biting point in the car raises slightly at the back there when you're in reverse so that way the car is trying to move that way but the handbrake is holding it which is what we want so get the biting point and then have a look around yeah it's looking good and then i can release the handbrake if you if you feel like when you release handbrake it's going too fast just bring the clutch down a tiny bit like i did there that way you're not gonna you reduce the speed a bit so and notice I'm not bringing my clutch all the way down because if I do that, they can see the car stops and it starts to roll forward. I'm bringing it down just a tiny bit so that it doesn't go too fast, but it also doesn't uh, allow it to go forward as well. Yeah, checking all over. Checking that mirror, make sure that I'm not getting too close to the curb. Right now, it's fine because I'm just in line with it and my steering wheel is straight as well. So I don't need to make any adjustments. All over. So get to about here, it should be fine. I secure the car, and that's it. Okay, then the examiner will tell you to drive on again when you're ready. So I'm just going to get into gear one. So remember, we're moving towards the left, so I need to start checking from the right side first to so check over my right shoulder. Doing a full sweep, checking that mirror, checking the front there, checking through this mirror, checking over that mirror, and then over my, my left shoulder. And if I can see that it's safe. I'm gonna signal left as well, and then I can start coming out checking again for any vehicles, any other road users around. We'll take the next road on the left. So mirror, mirror, signal left. So I'm gonna go into gear one here because it looks like it's a bit hilly and it looks like a small turn as well, small road. So I'm just gonna go into gear one so that I can do it slowly and smoothly. Because if I was in two here, you see there's not much room here. If another car was coming through, that would be very tight there. And when you're on the hills, where you want to stay in gear one for a bit longer, get more speed out of gear one, and then afterwards get into gear two. I'm gonna turn left at the end here, so center mirror, left mirror, signal left. Again, I'm getting into gear one because I can't see on that side over there. Once I can see that it's clear, I can check my mirrors, and then off we go. area is still 30 mile an hour so I'm just gonna get into third doing about 25 miles an hour now going slowly up but further down I can see where those signs are. I can see the road bends quite sharply so I'm gonna reduce my speed a bit as I approach that bend over there maybe even think about going into gear 2 you can see this van came out quite wide and if there's only one else behind him doing the same thing I don't want to be caught off guard thank you the traffic lights were turning left so center mirror, left mirror, signal left. So if this van takes long to move, we're not going to gear one. So sometimes people take longer than you expect for them to move. So the light went green quite a while back, but he couldn't move. So be ready for that. So they can go into the correct gear to check him out right over there. There should be no one coming through, but just check because we had to give way there if somebody was there. <clears throat> so I'm on those 40 mile an hour road, increasing my speed quite a lot. And the sat nav will say to you, take the next left here. So I'm just going to check my mirrors. Signal left. See, I'm already braking because we're going downhill. If I didn't brake there, the car will go too fast. And then we've got a speed limit there for 30 miles an hour. So make sure I cancel my signal as well. So I'll reduce my speed. We've got a sign telling us that there's a dual carriageway ahead, which just basically means there's a, a barrier between us and the opposing traffic. So I'm just going to keep to the left of it. I know there's a car behind me, so he might go around me now. 
you see there's a sign there telling us the lanes are coming together so i need to definitely start paying attention to this car now because i want to make sure that we don't come to come here in the same at the same time and there's a van in the way too so i'm just gonna reduce my speed loads going into gear one all the time i was aware that car was next to us there you want to be uh conscious of cars that are next to you and be aware what's going on in front so there's a lot of thinking see a sign there for to slow us down because there's a um, school around here and there's lots of speed the speed bumps around here as well so can't really be doing 30 miles an hour here because i wouldn't feel comfortable in the car so i'm just gonna keep braking so i can manage the speed there lots of signs telling us to slow down we've got a giveaway sign coming up so something's definitely coming up okay so it's like it's a roundabout <coughs> and we're going straight here i'm looking at those cars coming down looking for their signal but he's not signaling to come towards us so that means i can keep going you just checking my mirrors as i go around the parked vehicles so the car reversing out of the uh, the driveway there so yeah, pay attention to those things as well and then that way you're prepared for any thing like that so i'm back into gear one because i went really slowly and i can go into gear two again i can see a sign for a roundabout as well so when you see a roundabout so you start looking observing it from early but i'm also paying attention to what's happening here as well then i'm looking to the right from before i even get to there so i've got my, my, my brake covered and then once i know it's clear i can carry on but you see here it's quite got quite a lot of parked cars it's not very wide so I'm not going to be going too fast through here I'm doing that 20 miles an hour right now reducing even more especially here when this van's coming towards us because there was not enough room for for, for me to be doing this because I need to go around that car for me to do that I have to wait for that guy to go past first so whenever you're not sure about a space just slow down loads because think about the space that you're going to need is it in the same space that the other cars are in if the answer is yes then you probably have to wait Especially when you go when there's an island and there's a vehicle like there, you need to go around him quite a lot. So like now, you see, I'm checking my right now. I need to go around him quite a bit. So if there's a car coming through, I'll think twice before I did that to make sure that I've got enough space. Still conscious of the fact that this is a 30 mile an hour zone, but when the, when the road opens up some more, I can think about going a bit faster. So we're going to take the next right of the lights. So mirror, mirror signal and you see there's a lane for us to use i've had learners try to go into here before which is not the right thing to do obviously because and this both these lanes can turn right so i'm just going to use this one the signal right again but as i go through here i'm just going to keep as much left as i can checking my right mirror as well that's it yeah there was a no entry road before that and you want to look for signs that's telling you where you can't where you can and can't turn so Keep your eyes open for, for signs. So you know normally you want to stick to the left where there's two lanes, but if you look ahead, this lane, there's a bus lane sign telling us, so I'm going to signal right because there's a car on my left, on just my right here, and it's slowing down to let me go through. Yeah. So I know this area, so if I was, if, uh, if I was driving normally, I would just stuck to the right lane, but if you don't know an area or just as a general rule you want to stick to the left and then if you then if you see something in the way that you need to move out of the way for you want to check your mirrors i'm just gonna turn right this round this uh, road here just mirror mirror signal careful when, when I'm approaching this bend thinking about any cars that might be coming through there so I've got my foot covered um, I've got my brake covered and I'm just gonna go around slowly and I pull over on the left in a safe place a so mirror mirror I can see a nice spot just here so I'm gonna get into gear one as I approach this because it's not like a big wide section that I can take lots of time to pull over in it's a small spot it's not much room for me to go past so I can use gear one to make sure it's more controlled okay so we're gonna carry on now without doing any 
more independent driving. So what I was saying earlier about the the left, sticking to the left, you want to stick to the left when there's two lanes. Um, there's other videos explaining why, but just quick quick explanation. Most of the time when you're in the left, you can keep going through lights. When you're in the right, other people that are turning in front of you will stop you from going forward. So if you're in the left, that's not going to happen because the people that are in the left are either going straight or turning left. The people that are turning right have to wait for oncoming traffic and you're going to be stuck there. So use the left lane where possible. But if you know a certain area, if you know a route and you know that the right lane is better, just use that. But most of the time you're going to be in the left. Okay, so we're going to carry on from here. So starting from the left side, moving to the right. So start check our, right, our checks for the left shoulder. Through that left mirror, through the center mirror, through the main screen, through that right mirror, and then over my right shoulder. I'm gonna put a signal on because I can see a guy there, I can see a car coming down the road as well. So here I'm gonna wait for this car because there's not much room there for me to go and then for them to be there as well. So I'm just gonna let them go past first. And then as they're going past, I'm gonna check over my right shoulder one more time and then release my handbrake. I can see a van coming down actually, so I'm just gonna wait for him. So this is why you wanna check the mirror before you move off as well, because I saw, when I checked my shoulder, he wasn't there, but then I checked the mirror, he was there. So I'm just gonna check again, and then I'm checking my mirror, and there's nothing coming. I'll check one more time, just make sure the mirror again, and I can move off. So you always wanna be updating that information by checking that right mirror to make sure nobody's there. Right now I'm just in second gear. Doing about 20. So you want to use your judgment. If it's even though it's a 30 here, I'm, I'm not gonna go really fast because it's narrow. I've got people crossing the roads, cars parked on both sides. I don't need to go really fast here. I'm gonna turn right at the end. So mirror, mirror, signal right. This is a one-way road here as well, so we don't need to worry about any cars coming through. And because it's a one-way road, instead of going over there or going in the middle, I can go all the way to the right now, and then I can start checking for cars. So on one-way on one roads, you want to be on the side that you want to turn and take up the whole side. Don't go in the middle and go to the left. You want to go all the way to the right, and I can see it's nice and clear, and I can carry on. So this lady is waiting on the side there, so I don't need to I've got my brake covered because I can see a crossing here. There's stuff happening. I've got people waiting to cross on the left there. So it's going to go into gear one. Let's check in both sides, both mirrors as well. There's no one else crossing. And I can carry on. So I'm just going to slow down a bit. So remember, things like that will happen. Cars will pull out in front when they're not supposed to. But just be prepared for that. And don't let it stress you out too much. Because then you can lose focus on what you're trying to do. We've got a roundabout here. And what do we approach roundabouts in? We approach them in gear 2. So I'm just reducing my speed and ridding gear 2. My clutch is up now. I'm just checking the right. And then I can carry on once I get to here. Because I can see there's nothing coming from there. Still in gear 2 because this is a bit, of a, a bit narrow here. We're going to turn right at the end. So I'm just going to check my center, check the right mirror, signal right. Now I'm going to position myself to the right of this side of the road. See how wide it is? I don't want to be in the middle or over there because I'm, I'm turning right. I want to be on this side, checking the left from early, checking the right as well. It's looking good. I'm also checking over there for any cars coming through because it's like a staggered crossroad. They're not exactly opposite each other, but it's still a crossroad. So you want to be aware of any cars or any other vehicles that, or any other road users that are coming through from the other side as well. So we've got a cyclist here. 
people get stressed out by cyclists you don't need to just treat them like any other road user and just give them some space if they need it and don't be in a rush to overtake them if there's no space so like right now for instance there's not much space because there's a car coming through so i'm just gonna reduce my speed a bit I'll probably go past them once i go past this island but at the moment i'm not in a rush to go past i'm checking around me as well i'm gonna even go into gear one just so i've got more control and once i get here i can see there's a bit more space I can go around and check my left mirror and I go back to the left and the speed is changing now to 20. So the examiner might say, I'll give you one of the show me questions. Uh, let's say, when it's safe, can you show me how you would turn your headlights on? Just gonna slow down for this bus first. So yeah, when you when you get these questions, don't do it straight away. Do it when it's safe. So like there, there was a bus coming through. Uh, the space was getting narrow. There's too much going on, so I wouldn't do it right there and then. I could just wait for a bit. And once I get to like somewhere more open, like there's even now there's a cyclist in the way. So I might have, me just deal with him first, and then I'll do it. So once I go past him, then I can think about okay, it's nice and clear here. Then I'll do it, and I can turn it back off again. We're going to pull over on the left in a safe place. Mirror, mirror. Signal. Clutch down. I'm in gear three. I can use my clutch down from early so that the car doesn't shake. And then I can relax. And then the examiner will say, let's drive on again. Which is fine. So I'll get into gear one taking over my left shoulder first left mirror center mirror through the main screen right mirror i can already see this car coming down and then over my right shoulder no i'm gonna once this car's going past i put a signal on and i can see this car's coming but this guy's indicating i don't know where he's turning though so i'm just gonna wait for a second and behind the, him there's another car and there's a bit of glare in the mirror as well, especially in the blind spot mirror. So be careful here. You, want, you might want to have an extra look just to make sure that you haven't missed anything because of the glare from the sun. So I can use the centre mirror as well to see what's going on. And then once I can see part of the van has gone past, there's no one else really. I'm check, checking again, take my mirror again for anybody else. And it's looking good, then I can carry on. We're going to turn left at the end of this road. So mirror, mirror, signal left. Getting into gear one, I can see this pedestrian already trying to cross in front of me. And on here, you can use your handbrake because it's a bit of a slope if you're not comfortable with doing this without using the handbrakes. And, and I can get my biting point, handbrake down. And here, there's not much space, I'm not going to try to squeeze past because there wasn't enough space for me to go in there when that van was stored there. This car's indicating, but I want to make sure it starts turning first. Okay, he's going. And we're going to turn right straight away pretty much after we turn. So, mirror, mirror, signal right, and I'm going to position myself in his box. Now this red car is coming down, I'm going to wait for him. And then once he's gone, I'm going to check into the road I'm turning into, checking again for any more cars. So we're going back into the test centre now, so I'm just going to be aware of any cars coming through. Uh, I, I thought I saw some movement in there, but it's like it's a parked car, so then I can carry on. So remember, if you're not sure, it's fine to just slow down a bit, maybe even stop, and then double check, and then if it's clear, you can carry on. Keeping it slow in here to go back. Could be other learners coming in and now, other road users, because this is a, like a business park as well, so they've got other people using it. So here the examiner will just say, pull up, just pull up on the right. It doesn't have to be a perfect bay park. Basically, you're, trust, you're just trying to get out of the way here, so don't try to like get it perfect. If you do, that's not a problem, but don't like stress yourself out about it. Just get out of the way without hitting that fence. People have hit that fence before and failed just as they're about to finish their test, so be really careful here. You want to be just controlling your clutch loads, so you're not bringing the clutch up quite high, you're just playing with it around the biting point. Once you get inside, you're gonna put your clutch down, brake, handbrake on, and then secure the car. And then you can relax. Okay, so that will be, that's, it. that's pretty much it on that route. Main things were, that happened on that one was making sure that you if you got like small spaces 
the route the road narrows start reducing your speed uh, early covering your brake if you need to and we're looking out for signs speed signs looking out for road markings so you know where you're going and what's going on in the road as well being aware of other cars around you as you go through so if there's if there's two lanes that are merging together into one just being aware that somebody might be really close to you as the lanes come together um, also being aware of what gear you're in as well so that you're not moving off in the wrong gear so hopefully you guys find that one useful i will do another one of these next week hopefully you guys can tune into that um yeah remember to subscribe like the video and we'll see you in the next one